Hello everyone, this is John back again with another review. And today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't been doing in a long time. Um, I stopped for a specific reason, and that was because uh, YouTube didn't like any of the videos I made, and they were kind of, they were, they were demonetized at the time because the rules were different there where you didn't have to have the 4,000 hours of watching to get monetized. But they demonetized and they limited the view of a lot of these videos that I did because I was reviewing beer. Uh, not cool YouTube, so that's why I stopped doing uh, beer reviews really because they were getting like two views, two to three views. And uh, the reason I don't do this for the, the views, but I, I just don't like the idea of YouTube doing that, so I haven't been doing it. But anyway, this one is special because if you've been watching my shows recently, you know I did a burger called the Yerminator. Well, this guy's so popular that now there's a beer that came out that is not really named after him, but inspired uh, by him. And that is from the Goose Island Beer Company. I have the can right here. This is a one quart can called a Crowler. Uh, these are, this is on the back, not for retail sale. You get these specifically at the Fulton Street Tap Room in Chicago, Illinois. It's the only way to get it is either drinking it there or doing a pickup order. It was I did a pickup order. Um, you can see it says Rule 5. 7.3% and the date was the 15th of May. Today is the eight, uh, 18th of May. Um, these cans, since they're filled fresh, usually you want to drink them within a week of getting them. So let's go over why this is named after your mean Mercedes. Rule 5. The full name of this beer is actually Rule 5 Draft. If you are uh, inclined in the baseball vernacular, the Rule 5 draft is a draft where basically minor league players who've been on the same minor league team for a certain amount of time um, but haven't really been brought up to the majors and just kind of sitting there and there's not really uh, much path for them to get to the major leagues on the current team that they're on. What the Rule 5 draft allows is for other teams to look at those players who meet the criteria and basically say, he would make the majors on our team. Uh, at least sooner than the other team. So during the Rule 5 draft, each team, uh, basically if, if you put, you can choose to put players in the 40-man roster, there's a limit to that, and that would protect, like, protect those persons from being taken from the draft. But if you leave them unprotected and they qualify um, for the service times in the minors, then I think it's reverse uh, past year's um, ending uh, standings and you go one by one team and you can pick from anyone in that field uh, I think there's a limit of how many players can be taken from your team in each round <clears throat> and the rounds keep going until teams stop picking so it's not really a draft where everyone always picks uh, sometimes round one a team doesn't make a pick and then they don't get a second or third pick because you, you keep picking until you don't want to take a pick and basically what happens is you get you pick a player from the team you have to pay the other team fifty thousand dollars which in baseball terms is not a whole heck of a lot and then that player gets has to be placed on your 40-man roster and they have to make the opening day starting roster not the starting roster but the opening day 26-man roster um, and they have to stay on that uh, barring injury for the whole year you can't there are rules where like if you get injured you can spend some time in the minors to rehab uh, but you can't spend a certain amount of time and if the player gets released it has to be offered back to the original team and I think that's you get like twenty five thousand dollars back but then the original team can also just say keep that guy we don't want him and then you can keep him in the minor leagues but there's two, and there's two kinds. There's the Major League Rule of Five and there's a Minor League Rule of Five. In the Major League Rule of Five, 
the player taken has to stay on the major league roster. And the minor league rule five, the player has to stay on, I believe, at least double A. Anyway, Yermi Mercedes was drafted by the White Sox in the minor league portion of the Rule 5 draft. Um, there are few and far between Rule 5 draft players that ever really make it big. Some bullpen guys do all right, some bench players play some utility roles for a while, but it's very, very rare that a Rule 5 draft player becomes like an all-star level. You can probably count it on one hand. And minor league Rule 5 draft players, even less so. So he was taken in the Rule 5 draft for the minor leagues, and at the age of 28, finally cracked the major leagues. Uh, he had won a bat last season, and he started the year on the roster this season. He went 8 for 8 to start the year. He's batting like a 370. He just hit a, a home run off the Twins yesterday for his sixth of the year off a 3-0 pitch against a position player pitching in a blowout game and people some people were upset about that I'm not upset about that uh, it's baseball swing the bat throw the ball but anyway this is a hazy IPA so rule 5 draft 7.3 percent his number is 73 and that's just the day I got it but uh, those two top lines have something to do with him. He was a Rule 5 draft player. His number 73, and this is a 7.3 alcohol by volume. This is a hazy IPA, and it's hopped with Amarillo Galaxy and Nelson Hops. So I read some reviews of this. They say that it is a slightly creamy white color. And it has somewhat of a tropical fruit smell and somewhat of a tropical fruit flavor. You can see the has a nice white head to it. It is a hazy IPA, a little bit on the light yellow straw color. Uh, it looks like it's the same color top to bottom. It does have somewhat of a tropical fruit scent, I'll give it to that. Like a mango pineapple, maybe? Let's give it a taste. Yeah. It does have a, a fruity bouquet of smell and flavor to it. For being as high as a 7.3 is, it's actually pretty light in the alcohol flavor. It has that bitter hop, but also a fruity. Cheers, you're mean. That was a good beer. Whew. This was a 32 ouncer, so I'm going to nurse that throughout the day. I'm not going to just chug 32 ounces right now. But I liked it. It's a 10 out of 10 beer, just like your mean Mercedes. And that's it. Go White Sox. Like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you actually see this pop up in your in your uh, subscriptions. So I know if, if YouTube is still up to its gimmicks of you drank beer, so we're not going to let anyone see this garbage. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.